Hey guys, welcome back. It's a muggy 95 degrees here in Alabama today, but uh, we've got a few projects that we're working on. And, um, you know, there's a few things that, well, actually there's a lot of things I struggle with, uh, but uh, patience is one of them and contentment. Uh, those would be the two things I'm really struggling with right now because my wife actually made a list uh, of projects that I can do when we don't have money. And I actually took that list down off the wall last year because it was kind of depressing to see that we even needed a list when we don't have money for me to do. Um, and we are in one of those places where we are just doing projects that need to be done. Uh, they're low cost or no cost projects. So that's what we're working on today. So, um, you know, I've got big dreams and uh, big ideas and my, my uh, wallet cannot seem to keep up with my dreams. So um, anyway, we're just kind of doing the best we can with it right now, but we've actually got this area right here in between the, uh, the gray building and Elizabeth's horse shed. This space right here, I would really love to put a building and actually attach it to this gray building uh, for classes and things like that. That's what I would really love to do, but another day. But when we bought this place, um, we actually have these panels. I wonder how many of you out there know what these are. Uh, I certainly did not know what they were, so I had to ask. And they're actually the uh, panels like that the uh, military uses. They put them together and they drop them out of cargo planes uh, with a parachute to, uh, I guess, uh, aid or supplies or whatever they're, they're dropping. Um, so that's what these are were used for, and I think the guy that used to own our farm before is, I believe I heard that he was in the Air Force. So he probably had some connections to them. But they're aluminum crate panels, and I've been using them for walls on the compost pile behind me. Um, but one of them, this one right here, um, I was actually a little too rough with the tractor a few times, and I, I punched the, uh, the panels out, and it's got a balsa wood core in the middle. So uh, we had to take the, uh, the compost pallets down and we're redoing the compost pile, but, um, but I actually have another use for at least one of these panels that I busted off the two sides on, uh, which I will show you up here in just a second. So we actually built this building right here last year that we use for our quail. And then earlier this morning, before it got too hot, we uh, put up a little fence here because my goats were coming in here and they would actually take the feeders off and eat the feed and it was really annoying. And, uh, and then another thing that we were able to salvage off this property was these uh, metal poles. Um, like a, maybe a little portable small gazebo kit or something. I don't know, they're, they're all over the place out there. So we probably found about 15 of them. So we've used them for various things. But anyway, so it saved me from having to spend 10 or 15 bucks on a post. Um, so anyway, so we got that set up. So now this area is blocked off from the goats. And then the other, the eyesore over here is actually this thing. Um, it was an old chicken house that uh, they had like a little run out here when we bought the place. And uh, anyway, it's pretty, uh, pretty crappy, to be honest. I, I thought about tearing it down several times. Uh, but now that I got the goats blocked out of there, they can't go in there for shelter. And this thing right here has a little bit of water damage. I don't know if you want to see that. But we are going to repurpose um, one of these panels that we took off from those uh, aircraft panels. And so this is one half of it. And obviously this is the inside of it where the balsa wood was glued to it. And so I'm actually going to stick that up on top of the roof. I was going to buy roofing, um, but it's such a crappy build and I really don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. I, I hate to spend money on it. So this panel is free and we have it here. So other than the cost of a few screws to put it on uh, that's about it as far as what I'll have in it so 
that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this up on the roof and uh, you know try to make this area a little bit waterproof, uh, or not waterproof, but at least where it doesn't come in from the roof uh, for the goats. So the, the panel went on pretty good. It wasn't quite the size of the roof, but it covered the, uh, the main leaking area. So we'll watch it when it storms and see how it does. But other than that, I think this whole thing was just built out of scrap wood. So I'm not sure why they got things the way they do, but anyway, this has always bothered me. So I'm gonna cut that off and trim up these edges and um, clean up a little bit of stuff around the base of there's some blocks and some old boards and stuff that were here when we bought this place six years ago so we're just gonna kind of get those done and cleaned up and I don't want to leave these nails out because we have horses that come in here from time to time and that wouldn't be good 